What up, y'all? Welcome back to another Pioneer Cube Draft. Is it Ulamog? Is it Lotus Cobra? It's a Murderous Cut? A Braid? Crassus? I think it's Ulamog. I don't know how we're going to get Ulamog out, but we're going to find out. Oh, Goldspan Dragon. That'll do it. What is Guilt Leaf Winnower? Menace 4 3. I remember this guy. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, you may destroy non elf creatures. Power and toughness are not equal. I think we're taking Goldspan Dragon. Not only does it ramp us to Ugin. Oh, man. Ugin. Never mind. U we're taking Ugin. <laughs> uh, Ugin makes this cast cost two mana anyway. And I just think this Ugin is great. Ideally, gold. Oh, chromatic lantern. Now you're talking. Mono color. The stream is alive. We literally have no incentive to choose a color yet, and that's pretty cool. Oh, look, sort by mana value. They've changed it. That's 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 kind of neat. That's kind of nifty. Oh, nifty. Nifty gifties. Nifty. It's uh, Michael Scott. I kind of want to fumigate. Maybe we're just like a control deck. Maybe we just pump out an Emrakul and an Ugin and some Planeswalkers. Probably better than multiple choice here, right? I'll take a fumigate. You should get those cool double forearms like... <laughs> <laughs> Can you do that? Can you just get those? Man, if this was Marshall Coup, I'd be like all in for that. It's not, though. I think I just want Archon of Sun's Grace. This guy's kind of cool. Plus, it buffs all my Pegasuses. Come on. Yeah, all right. Huh. Ooh, Prismari Command sounds like fun. Probably Temple of Enlightenment, though. Cavalier of Gales could be decent. I really don't think it's great though. It's a five five flyer for five. Is that good enough? I don't know. And then you get to you get one J side activation out of it. I think I'm probably gonna go with Temple here. Winged words. Hmm. Um, none of these are super exciting. Hangerback Walker? Yeah, let's go with Hangerback Walker. Hinty Harm. <laughs> now you're just saying, oh, Aetherling seems great. Do we just want Aetherling? We're not blue. We have no incentive to be blue here. Is it Blademir? Is it Conclave? I also like saw it coming a lot. This on three lets us play Ugin on four, but I really don't want to just throw out guys that are terrible against Fumigate. I do kind of like Tribunal here. Like, I don't really want to have to be blue if I don't need to. Although, you know, actually, 
Yeah, I'm going to take... Oh, we got Temple of Enlightenment. Yeah, we'll take Bass's Intervention. Sure. Maybe we play it. Maybe we don't. And now we get Supreme Will. Sure. I kind of like Archangel Avacyn here. Well, I kind of like Disdainful Stroke, too. Disdainful Stroke seems like a main decker here. Yeah, I'll take that. Oh, look. We did get a Spell Pierce back. That's kind of cool. I don't see why we wouldn't play Intervention here. Prismatic Command. Both of those are actually pretty sweet. All right. Also, Hangerback Walker makes it nice to have flyers for the winged words. Kind of like Karn here. This is also whenever an enchantment enters the battlefield, not when you cast one. I also like Birth of Miletus. I'm going to take Karn and hope the Birth comes back. Or the Part the Veil. Part the Water Veil, rather. A little Uzi? I don't even know who that is. Tempted by the Auric. Uh, I'm tempted by the Sublime Epiphany. And hoping Torrential Gearhulk comes back. Or Angel, you know? Mana Confluence. Mana Confluence is Leland Pioneer? Who knew? I do like Vizier of Many Faces. I think we're taking... How much, do I have any way to gain life? I guess Archon of Sons of Grace. Which also doesn't trigger from anything we have yet. Mana Confluence does let us play Prismari Command a little easier with Sacred Foundry as well. Yeah, I think that's probably correct. Maybe. I don't hate a Lyra here. I'll take a Lyra. Oh, Prison Realm? Sure, triggers our triggers are Archon as well. <clears throat> also, Commit to Memory could be good with uh, Torrential Gearhulk if he comes back. Uh, this pack's kind of meh. Just gonna take the bird. Bird, 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 the word, bird, 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 the word, bird, 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 the word, bird, 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 neutralize, 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 neutralize. A vizier has no face. It checks out. Our deck's looking okay so far. I'm okay with it. Let's say this is a two. Ooh, a Nahiri, huh? And we got an Ulmog. Destroy an attacking bro. I'm going to take the Nahiri, especially because we have... Oh, it didn't come back. That kind of sucks. Ooh, Sulphur Falls? Oh, I like that. Oh, this would have been the pack. Angel of Sanctions is still in here. But am I too am I too good? Is Sulphur Falls too good to pass up? Oh, we have Tribunal too. Yeah, we're gonna take the Sulphur Falls. I'm not gonna be greedy. Oh, Vizier came back. That's nice. That's a nice one. I don't care about any of these things. 
So now I can play Prismari Command. I can also play an Omnath. Hmm. Let's take Spear. Man, too bad Temple Gardeners in the same pack with Omnath. Both of those could have been good. Could have been a contender. I'm going to put the Spell Pierce here for now. Ashiok. A kid you like Ashiok. Chandra's double red. We're not into that. I think it's just this Elspeth. This Elspeth seems great. Yeah, this has got to be the best card in this pack. Oh, Sphinx's Rev. I keep feeling like Gilded Lotus is just good. I think we have enough card draw between Thassa's Intervention. Oh, the Trencher Girl didn't come back either. Thassa's Intervention. Uh, we have Prismari Command to loot. Yeah, draw a discard, not great. We have Karn, Nahiri, Winged Words, Omen. I think we're actually fine. <coughs> I think I'd rather just have Gilded Lotus because, again, like we're playing towards these more expensive cards. Oh, Supreme Verdict. Yeah, I like that. Take Vizier out. I think we're actually playing way more of a controlling deck here. We only have four creatures. One is Archon, one is Lyra, one is Ugin, one is Hangerback. Yeah, those, those are those are decent creatures. Sensor, Brazy Bay, Kurush is naming cards. Hollowed Fountain is gorgeous, and I kind of hope Maze Mind Tome comes back. Yeah, thank we're definitely you. taking Hollowed Fountain. Snarky Zero, thank you for the resub, buddy. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome. I mean, Dig Through Time seems great here. Especially because we have, like, uh, two Wrath of Gods to search out. Temple of Epiphany. Speaking my language here. Yeah, that's a, that's a keeper. We got here finale again quarantine field quarantine field is nice because it does trigger uh archon yeah i think quarantine field is the place to be it's just also just better than conclave tribunal but i'm not i'm pretty sure we'll just play both okay elspeth conquers death that's really good I think we're cutting that. If it was an instant, I think I'd be on board. This is just a free card, which is great for us. Um, you're a four drop. I don't know why I put you in the five drop. Like, at, at worst, you're a three. At best, you're a three drop, maybe. Syncopate seems good, too. Hmm. What do we cut here? <laughs> Ooh, inscription came back. Next like creature with toughness three or greater. Hmm. I think these are both pretty playable. I'm going to take the inscription. Anticipate, huh? Take seal away. Seal away is actually playable, I think. Fenrir locks it on. Sure. Wow, chemistry's insight. Oh, boy. We have some we have some decisions to make here. I think maybe we just cut the I want to cut the red, but Nahiri's very good. Destroying a random artifact is also pretty decent. So we need like four cuts here. Let's say you're a two drop. You're usually a two drop. You're usually a four drop. I feel like we can cut this. We have both dig through time and better counter spells. Huh. 
honestly kind of want to cut. So like we have <clears throat> an easy red splash. I don't think we need Prismari Command. We can board that in if they have artifacts, I think. We can probably cut Conclave Tribunal because we did get Seal Away in Prison Realm. One more cut, huh? <clears throat> Four creatures still. I think we're just gonna play it like this and uh, play 41. Yeah. So five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then four, five, six, seven, eight. This is it nine, nine? Sure. Oh, and that's, we get two more. So one of you. Can you not double click to hit lands anymore? Is that like a broken, did they just, they just stop doing that or? <coughs> it's kind of weird. Oh, hold on, cancel. Seagate Restoration is just a freebie. All right, we're doing it. <clears throat> All right, let's see how grindy these matches are going to be. Well, we got all our colors, so that's kind of cool. Oof, they took three. Dark Confidant. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. That's not a Pioneer card. Oh, boy. Burning Tree Emissary. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. <clears throat> Okie dokie. Well. <laughs> yeah, that's seven damage. Come on, Supreme Verdict. I mean, that's good if we can get it down and not have them have a removal spell, I guess. Emissary into Scrap Heap Scrounger is a pretty pretty big game. Cute Ogre Belly is the command for that? What? What is this clip? Can you make an Ogre Bank? He looks cute. Pul poison Belly? Pulsen Belly. Poison Belly. Pulsen Belly? <laughs> That's all old Pulsen Belly, you know, Pulsen. Here, this this looks cute in term in in. This is literally just Mike B's invitation. Card. <laughs> I was gonna say. <laughs> okay, that's amazing. But I was gonna whisper it to you so it wasn't so obvious. No, everybody, no one cares. Michael B has. That's actually pretty hilarious. I hope they don't have an answer for this. Come on. Oh, for fuck's sake. Well, I'll incinerate you as well. Mm, yes. <clears throat> All right. Yep, there we go. Sure. Wow. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> cool. Nice fucking hand. Oh, Jesus. I mean, this deals with a creature probably better than Supreme Will. Cut Disdainful Stroke.
Actually, we can just cut that and leave it at 40. That seems fine. PC Vogel, sorry to hear it, buddy. I really do appreciate the support, man. Uh, whew, bottom. Man, the perfect scry doesn't exist. But wait. <clears throat> Just gonna get rid of this now because I really don't feel like taking 20 by turn 4 even though we do have Supreme Verdict in hand. Actually, I don't know if I'm going to play this. Because then it just dies. Like, I want to plan for Supreme Verdict. And then we got, like, Elspeth, Hangerback. Yeah, that's fine. <coughs> well, they don't have any black mana. Not like they cast any black spells last game, but still. Sure. Land. That'll do, pig. Oh, that's... Yeah, no, I'll keep that on top. It's worth it. <clears throat> we can also Chemistry's Insight, try to hit another land, and then play it afterwards. I think that's completely fine. Why did he get greedy? I don't know. I don't know. <coughs> Guess we block, take four. Seems good. Hope they don't have a way to kill me. Probably do. Never don't. Okay. Wait, what? Uh, it's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays okay. off for them. Okay. Oh, they did. They they did go to face. Never mind. I thought they shot the hanger back walker in response. Sure, that was a fun match. <clears throat> I really love red cards. I think they're probably one of the better, uh, the better colors of magic cards. I think every red match comes down to skill, and uh, it's always enjoyable for for both players. Good times. Good times. Everything is all right. <clears throat> all right. Let's keep this one, I guess. <clears throat> Previous opponent, <clears throat> I believe, was 1 1. This opponent is O2, so. Oh yeah, we'll keep that guy. Got a seal away and a quarantine, quarantine field. Quarantine, quarantine. <clears throat>
Hmm. Well, I guess we'll pass here. Seal Away is my favorite Enya song as well. Seal Away, Seal Away, Seal Away. You got it. <clears throat> Let's play this guy and play Archon. Sea Archon of Sun's Grace. Next turn we can go Lyra into Quarantine Field for two. If they go land Kogla though, I'm going to be real sad. I'm ready for it. Okay, that's not a Kogla. It's not a Kogla. <clears throat> Let's get in there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight mana. That's a lot. I kind of just want to keep up Supreme Will and Chemister's Insight. I think that's actually fine. Because if we had a land, we can quarantine field two things. Yeah, that's fine. <clears throat> Don't care about it. That's also good, but we can't counter that. Hmm. Okay. I'll just take it. Hmm. No land, huh? <clears throat> Fascinating. Oh, we have Seagate Restoration. Never mind. So we can Seagate get rid of <clears throat> like Maze Mind and Palladium Mirror. Yep, they do get to draw, <clears throat> which is fine. What a beautiful Pegasus.
One, two, three, four, five, six. They still have eight mana. I mean, it's still no joke. <clears throat> and our disdainful disdainful stroke is down on the turn. They're going to play something for eight, eight million mana. So that's good stuff. We're having a good time. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Yeah, that's nice. Don't really have an answer for that. Negative four. The lesson don't take your fucking shields down like a goddamn moron. <sighs> One, two, three, four, five, six. Moving on board, huh? It's really obnoxious. Wow. Guess I should have just gotten rid of the maze mine tome. Ah, <laughs> <sighs> boy. One, one, two, three, four, five, six. I think we just play this and then play Lyra. <coughs> and then we can threaten Ugin next turn. All right. They get two looks. So here's hoping they don't find an answer to Lyra. Because then we can kill Ugin. Kill Ugin. Good old Kalugan. Interesting. <clears throat> I mean, it's still three cards to three cards, right? I mean, just because they can draw an extra card with Maze Mind Tome and they got an Ugin on board, like... They can't negative five here. We still have, like, Conclave Tribunal in the deck. No, we actually took that one out. We have Prison... <clears throat> prison field, prison, big priz. We could be playing Fortified Village, and then we have Fortified Village, Chromatic Lantern, and Mana Confluence to uh, cast Omnath. Okay, seeing a land is good. <clears throat> Draw a card, also looking good. Never gets easier. It's fucking good. Got gotta have reach, huh? Okay, okay. Um, oof. Really? This is just a fucking embarrassment. <clears throat> Whenever an attack, I guess we're just wiping the board here. <clears throat> Do we just supreme verdict in the next turn? We Elspeth conquers death. This that seems correct. I don't think five life is worth giving them like an extra card though. So unfortunately, I mean, Gargaroth is just going to attack us anyway. We're not going to be able to block it. So I'd rather just kill everything here, even though they're going to draw a card off solemn. They still have maze mind tome. Like, so they're going to have, they're going to have like five cards next turn. <clears throat> we do get to queue up disdainful stroke if they don't play anything, but what are the odds of that? They're a hundred percent going to play something, but then we get Lyra back. So, I don't know, man.
every land they play is just great for us though like just please have have all lands in hand i'm begging oh interesting god if they don't play anything i'm just gonna be like over the moon Oof. This is how you do it. Okay. <laughs> Jesus. <clears throat> yes. Give it to me. Getting Lyra back as a 6-6 six -six is pretty banging. All right. I mean, hopefully they drew not Ulamog. Four, five, six, seven, eight. I guess they don't have the mana for Ulamog anyway. Something super boring with no... Uh... Okay. Well, let's... <clears throat> it doesn't kill us in two turns, actually. We do get Lyra back before, and then we get to keep up two counter spells. Oh no. <sighs> Fuck. <sighs> what a fucking joke, dude. <laughs> this is actual joke. Oh my god. <sighs> it's amazing. Absolutely incredible. That's incredible. Like, I'm just, like, kind of blown away <clears throat> that the card we fucking get, like, they, like they have a way to kill our Elspeth Conqueror's death. They have an Ugin the exact turn we tap out. They have an Elder Gargaroth exactly after we play Lyra. Like, okay. Our Punisher is incredibly lucky for, for being O2. <laughs> kind of shocking. <clears throat> okay, so what we're going to do, cast this, counter the activator, return a permanent, draw a card, cast this, counter this, choose to nominate in permanent, I will draw one, two, three, four, five, six. I mean, I can replay this as a four, two, but we're dead to these two anyway, so. Okay, dig could get us something. Although two of our four creatures are gone. One of them is an Ulamog. The other is a Hangerback Walker. Yep. I, I feel like we're just way too far behind. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Five, 
Fumigate. Oh, Elspeth? Hmm, interesting. Um, huh. Go to three. All right, it's not the end of the world, I guess. Four mana. They're going to activate Mobilize District. <clears throat> Man, if we can come back and win this game, it would be pretty wild, but... Okay. I'm okay with that, because it doesn't give Trample, and that's all I need. Okay. I hope you also play Night of Autumn. That would be pretty cool. Elspeth might save us. <laughs> Fumigate gaining us like a significant amount of life here could also be great. Oh, wow. This is great because we're going to block Fumigate. Gain five. Go to eight, and then have a bunch of counter spells. Oh man, that's really good. Three, four, five, and then we still have mana for. Okay, so this is just gravy right now. I'm actually. This is actually a, a hell of a turn of events here. One, two, three, four, five. Go to nine, create three, have neutralized, disdainful stroke, and supreme will in hand. <clears throat> well, they have two creatures on the board. Come on, get... Oh, God, are they just going to tap out for one big thing? Oh, that's too good. Too good. What were they going to do, though? We have, like, Elspeth active. We could have actually just Elspethed and killed it. Man, I wish I didn't have to get rid of Chemister's Insight, insight but I'm... Uh, Planeswalker, huh? Deal. 
I mean, we have to counter Knight of Autumn now, but we do get to scry here. Um, yeah, we're keeping it on top. Making some gentlemen. She's also at seven, so next turn we get three, six, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. We just kill them. Yeah, that seems good. We neutralize their knight, and we can probably supreme will whatever they count, whatever they play after that. Wow, I'm actually extremely surprised we've come back in this game. I'm not going to just assume we won, because <laughs> you saw what happened last time. But uh, yeah, I don't care about a Barkhide troll. Uh, that I'm a little more concerned with. One, two, three... <clears throat> and now anything they want to play against like Elspeth is supreme willable yeah that's fine oh they don't even try to attack that's interesting <sighs> 18 yeah Wow, that was that was a hell of a comeback. But don't call it a comeback. I kind of like Omnath, man. I know that sounds weird, but we do have Chromatic Lantern. Oh, we also have Gilded Lotus, too. You know what? Take out a Plains for a Fortified Village. Bring in the Omni. Omniath. Um... Concave Tribunal seems fine. We really want to deal with Ugin. Like, we don't want Ugin to come down, but... We do have Disdainful Stroke. We have Supreme, Neutralize. We just have to make sure we actually cast. We also have Syncopate. <clears throat> we just have to be able to cast these cards. Make sure we actually cast them. Um... I feel like Chemist's Insight's probably the card. Like, the card draw's great, but we already have... We have Omen, we have Karn, we have Dig, we have... Like, we have a lot of card draw. And I don't think we have, like, a turn where we're going to keep just four mana up. Okay. Well, that's a mulligan. Let me roll my eyes here. I mean, I'm going to keep it because we have, we're on the draw. We have a land, a seal away, and a lantern. Like, we'll put the dig back. Everything else is, could be very, very good. Like, chromatic lantern into, into Omnath is a, is a real thing. Okay. Is this what the dream feels like? Oh, boy. All righty. Papa's grateful. I mean, we're just hoping they don't have Night of Autumn. Killing Chromatic Lantern here would be sad. Yuppers. We got Vigilance? Okie dokie, I'll just sit here like an idiot with my seal away. Oh, interesting. Well, I'm not going to take a point here. I am going to hope to... Uh, no, come on, no Night of Autumn, no Night of Autumn, no Night of Autumn. No Night of Autumn, no Night of Autumn. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on. If they had it, they just would have windmill slammed it, right? Like, there's no way. Mm. 
No way, right? No way they have it. That'd be crazy. You got it. Sure. I wasn't going to fumigate, but now that they played an extra creature, I'm just like, fumigate? We're playing this because now we can uh, play it without having to... This also puts him down to like three mana. Oof. So if they want to spend two to like draw a card, that's totally fine. I'm pretty sure they're going to scry here because they're just not going to have the 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 turns necessary to take full advantage of the draw two. You got it. Crack that whip. I mean, I'd love to play Omnath the next turn, but I'm pretty sure we're just going to play Ugin. Interesting. Sure. Sure. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Give me a freebie. They're like, man, I wish I waited one turn, then I could have named Ugin. Then I could have named you Genus. Steel Leaf Champion. <sighs> I think we're doing very well for ourselves here. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I think we just exile this guy. I mean, or destroy him rather. Because we can't block it except for with Omnath, and I don't really want to block it with Omnath. Splashing Omnath like a friggin' pro here. No. Gain four. We're not going to attack, because if they have any removal, like a Voracious Hydra or something, um, if they go land Voracious Hydra, they can kill Omnath and then kill Ugin with their Phyrexian Revoker after taking two, so I just think keeping Ugin around is a much more uh, effective path to victory. Elder Gargroth, that's a guy. And that still doesn't tap. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We can play Seagate and draw three. Nahiri. Not, so we have Nahiri and Seal Away in our hand. Neither of which do anything to this guy. So I think we're just casting this. Seagate Restoration. Oh, no, don't do that. Blue. Oh, that's a nice bottom, that thing. I mean, I think we just triple block this guy, make sure with, that our Ugin survives, and then we can actually Supreme Verdict whatever they play. They have no cards in hand, so. Thank you. Moon Time Door. Thank you for the resub. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Welcome, McMelcom. McMelcom in the middle. I mean, if if also if we if we super interesting. 
So we can block six here and one. Oh, they're not even they're not even double attacking. That's fascinating. Making a three three. I mean, we're I'd rather I'd rather keep the board. <laughs> keep uh keep keep my Ugin alive and then wipe the board. After they just made a an emblem instead of keeping an a Gideon alive. Oh my god, really? The one they kept alive was the friggin' Supreme Verdict one? I guess it's fine. <laughs> I guess it's it's completely fine. It was just funny. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine... One, two, three, four, five. Gilded. Oh, it costs two less. Wow. Oh, this guy costs two less, too. So that's cool. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, done. Wow, that's those are good deals. These are some good deals. Next time we can play to here, you start getting rid of things. Okay, we just win the match. All right, let's see if we can two one here after that disastrous aggro deck in round one. I was a little salty. I apologize, but what are you going to do? Uh, yeah, Syncopate and Seal Away make this playable. And then we can go four, five, six. It's going to be a temple, right? I'll we'll start with this, and then when this can come into play for free, and then we can keep that up, and then we keep this up, and then we can play this, play this, play this. That's okay. That's also juicy. There's not gonna play anything. Okay. Well, we do have seven cards, so we need to either play something or draw something. This seems, letting this resolve seems worse than whatever they could do. Yeah, that's pretty good. Come on, land off the top. Any land. Any any untapped land. No temples. It's even better. <sighs> this is my life. Thankfully, it was not a spell, though, so we didn't suffer the... suffer the consequence of them getting a treasure. Okay, Beanie Boy. Well, maybe it's for the best. Maybe they're going to play this eventually. One, two, three, four, five. Like, next turn, then we can kill everything. Who knows? They have one card in hand.
Good times. I guess if they play beans, I mean, we're just going to let it resolve, I think. We're not going to. Sure. They're playing it safe here, which is understandable. I'm not playing it that safe. Okay, give me a land. Give Papa a land do. Thank. Thank the gods. So now they can play Beanstalk, but we also have Quarantine Field that we can get rid of it. They could just keep attacking with Mobilized District. Not sure if that's the best. Because eventually you do get to just play Elyra. So. Is that one card in hand? Yeah, I think Pioneer is actually a pretty sweet format. I mean, it's really hard to give any form proper support during a pandemic, really. Okay, that's totally fine. Oh, God. Jesus fucking, where's my lands, bro? <laughs> like, any one land here and we get to go, we get to go Elspeth Conquer's Death or Lyra. I mean, I guess we're not lyra here, but... I mean, good grief. Like, it's turn seven. We missed three land drops? Come on. I mean, if they don't have anything exciting and they're just attacking with this, that's fine. So we're going to take three and then we get to play Lyra. And even if they have some kind of random answer for it, we go down to three. And then we probably die. I guess we can play Ugin if we hit land, land. Like, we're just looking for land, land. Untapped land into untapped land. Yep. Land. Are you kidding me? This is insane. <laughs> Oh my god. We know the one card in their hand though, right? It's forest? No, one forest came down and they played a forest, so. I mean, we're definitely discarding something here. Probably stroke. <laughs> I just woke up and Frank is getting mana screwed. Everything must be right in the world, buddy. You ain't kidding. Yeah, of course it's the one land that literally deals us damage. Good times. I mean, it costs him four mana to mobilize. Oh boy, that's a that's a thing. I guess we can Elspeth the Conqueror's death it, but yeah. Then we die to the mobilized district, so. Oh, we can, this is an enchantment though, so we can actually Nahiri it, which is pretty good. Yeah, let's do that. That's kind of funny.
Fingers crossed. So they're like, disdainful stroke. And I'm like, oh no. <sighs> Come on, give me one turn to gain five and go to seven and feel like I have two turns. They have, they're in like, they're basically in top deck mode. Basically in top deck mode. Does it matter? That's good. That's a good start. They get to, but they don't get to draw the card. So that's fine. Man, can you imagine if that's his Oracle Drew card? It's just Shut like Augur of Bolas. Lemon hugs. It's been nine months since the last time I watched you on Twitch. So here's the money. Really appreciate it, buddy. Thank you, dude. <laughs> Happy nine month anniversary of not watching. Oh my God. We get to attack with Lyra. Oh, wow. It's all happening. Oh boy. Oh God. Give me that sweet life. Um, one, two, three, four, five. We can play this. I think we're just pitching Gilded Lotus here. And I think we're going to play Ugin. Three, four, like they only have four power on board, so. Next level time carrier library. Yeah, we're just gonna make a guy here. Hey, it's another land that deals us damage. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Next turn we have, we can just keep counter spell and not worry about these guys. I'm obviously not super uh, interested in playing Fumigate here. When Lyra is like chef's kiss over here. Yeah, Ugin, Ugin is a this is this is in my vintage cube even. Like Ugin's a banger. Big fan. Um just two damage to any target. And then you're drawing two, discarding two. Okay. Got it. I guess we take four here, but then we gain five. Like, unless their top deck is like Lightning Bolt, which I do not think is in. I guess they could also get um, Shock. <laughs> Just to activate District for four, keep up the red shock us and then that's exactly three four and that's exactly six i mean also if we oh god Ooh, they discarded Spike Field Hazard and Mizium Orders. Wow, so they do have some burn in the deck. Oh, God. Yep, face and face. Go into two. Okay, we're in the end step. We're in the end step now. Okay. Get in there. Going up to seven. Uh, let's just discard Sacred Foundry here. I, I have no interest in, in that nonsense. Um, let's play Temple. Bottom you. Make a Gentleman. Do we play Land? Yeah, we played the Temple, right? So we can go one, two, three. Oh, this costs one? Oh, what a deal. Well, it's not free. It costs one. It costs two less, so it's it's one. Oh, it's free in the sense that it produces its own one. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah, okay, good deal, good deal. I'm picking up what you're putting down. We got one, two, and also the best thing is it shuts off mana confluence in the, in the sense that, like, now we can tap it for, without paying the life, which is <laughs> kind of a big deal. Yeah, 
Yeah, I think we just I think we've just stabilized now that we have neutralized in hand, unless they play like Coma's Coil. But then we have Elspeth, I guess, so that's pretty good. Gets around indestructible. Yeah, I always used to love like mana confluence with like Urborg and stuff, because I'm like, oh cool, it's just literally now I can just tap it for, for free. You think they're gonna hit this Nahiri? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No. Well, I mean, I'm definitely blocking here just because I don't want to go to three. But also, like, I'm, you know, we can Nahiri now put Ulamog into play, and then we have almost enough mana to just cast an Ulamog. Is this an X spell? Interesting. Hydroid Crassus? Oh, the Great Hinge is a banger. <sighs> okay. I mean, I'm not going to counter that because we have a perfectly, perfectly serviceable Elspeth Conqueror's Death in our hand, so. Ulamog. I don't know what game this is. I think it's game one. Maybe it's game two. Maybe we lost game one. I don't even know. Wow, that stupid lamb was doing us dirty, man. Couldn't even seal away it. That's that's bonkers. I do like this Omnath plan, I'm gonna be honest. Fortified for a planes. Hmm. Let me take out what did we take out last time? Chemistry's inside are better than dig. Yeah, let's do that. I mean, not only is like four life a turn like a big deal. Suspension field being able to hit like Elder Gargaroth is not bad though. Maybe that's okay. <laughs> it might be better than like Supreme Will. I'm gonna have to consider that next round. I'm gonna keep this hand. It's very slow, but it's got some hits. We got turn four, turn six, turn six. So. So let's draw a two or a three drop here. All right. Thanks. That could be a two drop into a three drop. That old chestnut again. Phoenix, huh? I'm not actually super concerned with that. See if that's my ooh ooh. Oh, we're keeping both, right? Next turn, I hope they play something. We can go supreme wool verdict, and then the turn after that, we can go Omnath into Island. That would be. That would be the most chef's kiss of all. Also, this guy has like an exile of, eh, I guess it's only three, which is not terrible. Omnath and Lanterns feel so good. Yeah, you're right. Like, I think this is actually worth just 
I think this is worth supreme verdicting here. Oh, okay, that's gonna be interesting. Uh, blue, white, 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 supreme boy. So next turn we can go Omnath into Temple, which is even better. God damn it. <laughs> Eh, we might just quarantine field that. Oh dear. I really don't feel like getting hit for another four. We do gain four. Yeah, I think that's actually fine. I want to put that on the bottom. We already have a six land. I'm not drawing cards, which is fine. They do get like seven mana here, but I don't, I didn't see a ton of removal from their deck. I have to set my alarm for tomorrow so I can wake up from my, my vaccine. Set one for noon, I'll set one for 12.30 to be safe. Actually, I guess I can set it for 12.30 and like 12.15. Yeah, no blocks. I don't even have any creatures to block, come on. Clothis is a pain in the butt. I guess we can quarantine field this and this, and that seems pretty fun. Two, three, four, five, six. They have two cards in hand. That's comforting. I don't think we attack here. Like, if they have a way to kill this end of turn, like then they can attack. Then they deal us two with this. So this is four, five, six, seven, eight, and I don't really want to go to five here. Plus, our deck is going to win the long game, not the short game. However, with only red and blue mana, I don't foresee them having a quarantine field answer. Ah. <sighs> I'm a fucking moron, I guess. Yeah, I feel like the Supreme Will should just be um, suppression, suppression field? No, suspension field. Yeah, like a car. Also, if they play any card with like two two red or green pips in their cost, then it's like, then they attack us for four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And that just feels worse. Oh, they can also attack with the mobilized district. Yeah, there's a lot going on here. Thankfully, they only bounced this and didn't remove it. So I guess I can recast it. And now I kind of want to hit, hit a land. Still no blocks. So there's two cards in hand. It's not bad. So they know we have quarantine field, so. Thanks. Oh boy. Tiger Nate, thank you for the resub, buddy. Welcome back, 38 months. Oh dear. Oh dear. So I think we get rid of Gargaroth Goldspan Dragon here. I 
One, two, three, four, five. No land is brutal. Jesus. Because <sighs> it turns off Clothis. Oh, you got something else. That's not a thing I care about right now. So if we hit a land next turn, we gain four. Oh God, we have two cards in hand. This game is tight. A lot of these games have been tight. Clovis sounds like a hill. I mean, Clothis. Clothis. I'm also surprised you're awake, Kerwin. I guess it's because you don't have to work tomorrow. Yep, go to four. Get Friday. <laughs> we could also play Gilded Lotus into Supreme Will, try to hit a land, play the land. I mean, four life seems like it's worth it, so. I think they're just activating district. That doesn't seem correct, right? Put me to two. I mean, unless you have shock in hand. Oh my god, what is happening? Definitely blocking the land. Can you kill him? Oh, because because Clothis. Oh, well, like we can definitely find a land here if we really, really have to. And we do not. And now I'm pretty sure we just exile the Clothis with an Ugin and go to five. Oh, we can't actually. Hmm. Hmm. So exile, make it two, two. We could also just destroy their Paradise Druid, which feels correct. Now we're attacking. We also have Chemister's Insight to find a land, and Lotus, Lotus, Gilded Lotus costs three next turn, so it pays for itself, which is pretty sweet. You cannot redirect this to... Uh... Yeah, it's... I mean, we can outrace it. <laughs> it's obnoxious, but we have, we're dealing four and gaining four. They're dealing two and gaining two, so... Okay, that's fine. Ugin does die. That is... Oh, they're just going to kill Ugin then. That's... That's okay. They didn't kill Ugin. Am I dead? I guess we're dead. <laughs> Should have played around Vyashino Pyromancer, I guess. I'm not sure how... Oh, fucking incredible. Man, Palm has been doing work. You know what hasn't been doing work? Lands. MTG Nerd Girl, what's up, lady? Always lovely to see you. Well, I guess that was only game two, so... I was afraid it was game three and we'd lost game one. I don't know. They're all blending together. I will play first. It's another expensive hand, but with no white or red mana. Yeah, this is terrible. That's going to be the end. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time. Slam the buttons, do the things.
What's that? You kept a hand with no white, huh? Well, here's a double white card for you. You stupid idiot. Well, if we can draw one white land, Nahiri should actually do the do the heavy lifting here. <sighs> Come on, planes. Wait, this taps for white. You just can't tell because it's one of the only friggin' lands that doesn't... Never mind, that's great. I'm a moron. White, red, these two. Oh, man, that's fantastic. Village is white. I just keep forgetting because, like this one, you're like, oh, it's blue and red because you can see it, right, very clearly. And for this, for some reason, these are broken, so it's only green, and I'm like, oh, no, it's only green. Actually, I probably should have ticked her up. Clothes wasn't really pressuring us, and if we actually don't hit a land here... Okay, that's fine. We're doing good. We're living the dream. See, look, even this one's broken. Is this just proof blue? Nobody knows. But it's a pale green. Isn't that enough? No, because this is the, like this is just normal green. It may be pale, but pale is the normal green. So that went into play. Okay. One, two, three. This actually, this game turned around. <laughs> I don't think we actually want to, actually we do. We want to hit a land. We can discard Supreme Verdict. Next turn we can just discard Lotus because if we're hitting lands, I don't care about the Lotus and we have three six drops. Sulfur Ball is coming into play tapped. Is that intentional, I wonder? What can they have for four that... No, you were definitely right, and I totally forgot. Because, again, like, one of the things you rely on is, like, you can easily look at the lands and see what colors they produce. Like, you know, blue, red. All the colors. Blue, green, red, blue. Oh, no, wait. It's blue, red. Green. Oh no, wait, it's green. Like it's, it's very like, it's easy. I think for me, at least because these lands aren't even played that frequently, it's, it's easy to forget. I think we just keep Salam Epiphany out. They have six cards. Right. Like the border is correct. This side's white. But, you know, it's not super noticeable. I kind of just want to play Elspeth. But I don't know what they have, you know? So I'm just going to play this. We're going to plus this. Discard you. Oh, now we have two counter spells. So we go counter their spell, attack for five. Counter their spell, attack for five. I'm unfamiliar with that land. It would not have assumed it's tap for anything except green. Yeah, that's exactly right. Just because magic is such a visual game. Like, a lot of times you're you're using uh, quick glances and just cursory information uh, to, to determine, like, what's on the board. That's interesting because they're clearly going to exquisite firecraft this. So let's do, we can return a non-land permanent to its owner's hand. Can I return this and make a copy of it in the same spell? I don't know, actually. That'd be amazing, because then we just bounce the one they're killing make a copy of it so it's still on board and I still got the card in hand. I actually don't know if that, that would work. I, I, don't, I feel like it wouldn't. <sighs> this is fine. I mean, like, if we counter this, they're not going to use Exquisite Firecraft, so we might as well let them use their Exquisite Firecraft. I mean, we might as well try to do it anyway, right? Because, because 
like bouncing this is fine. Cast, return, create, draw a card. Use, choose me, one, two, three, four, six. I don't know if this is gonna work because it's gonna be like, it resolves in order, so it's gonna be gone, but then like, oh, it worked. Oh my God, we could double our Lyras. Oh, Zombub, I love you. That was amazing. Wow, they just, that was like a three for one. We drew a card, we copied our Lyra, they wasted two cards and we got an extra Lyra in our hand. Okay, this game's over. We also have 10 more minutes on the clock than they do. Um, let's discard Hangerback Walker, try to hit a land here, because then we can go Ugin, tap one for, uh, it's a land all right, but. I think we're just keeping syncopate up here. Um, you know what? That's fine. It's a good enough card. Like if we just go syncopate, whatever they play, we can just Nahiri them and kill them with a Nugan. Ulamog. I always get the ooze confused. I got confused with the ooze. Il Dente did done mess up. You done mess Man, imagine trying to kill your opponent's Lyra, and not only does their Lyra survive, but they get another copy of Lyra in their hand. That's pretty good. Well, that can't be countered either. Dang. What a bunch of horse shit. All right, well, we wasted our turn, I guess. So we can kill that with Ugin. Depends on what they do, actually. If they keep their if they keep their snake up or not, their coil. We also have three minutes to win this game. Like, I hate wasting six mana right there, but what are you gonna do? They might actually just tap down Lyra because reasons. Oh, we can just actually. Okay, you got it. That's good. One, two, three, four, five, six. Well, because otherwise we ultimate this. Now we can't ultimate it. It turns off the activated abilities. And let's get in there. I think we're in way better shape, but I'm just basing that on having two Planeswalkers, a Lyra, and a stacked hand. What do I know? But if you guys want to support the channel, please consider subscribing or following. They're definitely great ways to help me out, and I'm a full-time streamer, so uh, it's one of the best ways to keep me alive. Put food in my mouth to help me go get dinners and rent and all those things that everyone loves. So definitely consider going to twitch.tv slash franklapore and subscribing or following. You can also get a free sub every month with Twitch Prime. You just gotta link your Amazon and your Twitch accounts. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe. I don't know what's in this queue, but I only think there is one way they win this game. Shut up and take my money. One food mouth bug. I mean, we're at 30 life. It's not looking good. 30 life and they have two minutes to, to, to take us to zero. I know I say it, I know I say it a lot, but I'm I, I don't I don't feel like it's gonna happen.
What are they doing here? This is wild. Today, Junior? I don't think anything's going to make a difference. Okay, you bounced my liar, you made a 2 2. Let's get your boy. I think mean, we're just gonna. X is currently Boon. I'm gonna kill you with the Woolmog. Okay. Thank you guys for watching. I love you guys. You're all my favorites. I'll see you next time.